Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Lucy Dreaming, where we are trying to make some jam. Now, uh, we need something to make our jam in. We don't have anything. Was this box always Turnip in? Turnip puffs. Turnip puffs. I'm guessing it is. The guy stocking the shelves is also gone. I don't know if he has an answer to that. He's brimming with job satisfaction. Yeah. Um, what, what happened to the other guy? Yeah, where's your assistant Where's gone? your assistant gone? He's cleaning up the storeroom where he can't damage my profits. Okay, fine. Bye. Bye. Come again. Nice flickering lights in here, by the way. Uh, right, so we are going to need to find something, which I'm guessing is probably a jar or something like that. Maybe we can collect the, the glass that was over here. Can we use that? No, thanks. No, we can't. I, I'm trying to think where I, I might have seen a, a, a jug or a, you know, a jar, something like that. There's, a, there's some vases. If I want a stunning set Glasses. of glassware like this, I should earn the stamps like an honest motorist. <laughs> uh, are there any... It's a glass, but I don't think we're going to need a glass, because we've seen lots of glasses and been told no to that. So, um, I'm not seeing anything, anything in here. I don't think there were any over this way. Where have we seen... Like a jar or something. I think we looked in our house, didn't we, in the last episode? I can't really remember. Um, hmm, okay. I don't think there was one in the library, but we can check. Uh, there's the mug, but I don't, I don't think we would make jam in a mug. It's got to be a jar, right? Because if we're going to submit it to the, the contest, then I, I would guess it's going to be a jar. That's normally what you put jam in, isn't it? Any, there's a collection plate. Any uh, any jars or anything in here? Doesn't look like it. I don't suppose we can go... There's no secret room or anything at the back that we missed. Uh, do you know anything? She looks ancient. Do you know anything about where we might get a jar? I'll leave her alone for now. No, we don't. Okay. Um, right, well... I mean, we could go back to the fate, I suppose. Maybe in the um, the crap tent the, where the police are selling all their stuff. Maybe there was a jar in there. Seized property. We don't have any money to buy anything from here, though. So I would I would guess that it's probably not in here. It's a bag. Seized property. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything around. Um. Is there anything, any jars in here? I mean, there are jars of jam. Oh, there's an empty jar. Looks like the vicar's oh. already polished this one off. Can we take that? Okay. We can. Okay, we've got. Oh, jeez, it was there the whole time. It looks like he's enjoying that jam. Oh, right. If I had a headache. I'd probably enjoy a break from the church bells too. Yeah. Let's see if he can... Okay, what do you have to do to win the jam competition? What do you have to do to win the jam competition? Anyone can enter. You just need to bring a jar with sweet flavour. Sweet. Vibrant colour. Vibrant. And perfectly preserved fruit. Fruit. Okay, so we don't have any fruit. Bye. 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 Okay, um, so we know already that this is part of it, right? The formaldehyde. I need to get some fruit in it before I add any other ingredients. Okay, fruit. Now, we have seen fruit already in the game. There was the lady with the blueberry muffins who was chucking blueberries all over the floor. Uh, but I think, was there fruit inside the room here? Is there a bowl of fruit in here? Yeah, there was. Let's get this fruit from here then. I'm not hungry for wax. Ah, oh, it's wax fruit. That's right. Okay, so it's not going to be that. It's going to be the blueberries, right? It was me thinking I was being discarded blueberries. It's got to be this. I, I don't think we've seen any other fruit. Well, if no one else wants them. Okay, let's see. Maybe we'll have to get some from These the shop. These blueberries look more like greyberries. I need to give them some of the colour back first. Right, so we want to make them purple. We know how to do that. We're going to have to use that on the... And this, I need to right? combine them in something. Right, okay. <laughs> Maybe in the glass? I need to find something with a lid. Okay, so maybe we just put... Maybe we put this in first. 
I need to get some fruit in it before I add any other ingredients. What? <laughs> Sad looking blueberries? These blueberries look more like greyberries. I need to give them some of the colour back first. How are we going to get them their colour back if we have to combine them in something? Uh, hang on, unless... Is it a case of doing this? I need to combine them in something. Okay, we need to combine them in something. Let's see if we can put this in the glass. I need to find something with a lid. Okay. I mean, did we... Am I going mad? Did we try? I need to get some fruit in it before I add any other ingredients. But she won't put the blueberries... These blueberries look more like greyberries. I need to give them some of the colour back first. What? <laughs> that is one big... So to speak. Okay, I mean... How do we combine them in the jar if we can't put them in the jar till we've made them purple? That That's a bit weird. Um, is there anything... Can we, like, maybe use the tulips or something? They're purple. That doesn't need any berries. No. Um, I mean, I'm trying to think if we've got anything else purple yet. Use the goal pole. I need to combine them in something. So do we need something else? Like a big bowl or something? Maybe? Oh. I'm a little bit confused. I, th I thought that was going to be it. Um, but obviously not. There must be must be more. Uh, wh wh where are you going, Lucy? Lucy, where are you going? Can we go back home? Is there like a big bowl or something? Let's see. Uh, okay, fine. I mean... Let's see if there's a big bowl, I guess. I don't think there was one in here. Uh, no, it's a bowl of fruit. I mean, there's that collection thing back at the church. There's this collection plate. I don't know if you can now take that and mix it all in there or something. No, it belongs to God or something. All right. Well, can we can we put the blueberries in there? That doesn't need any berries. No. So we need... Let's look at these. There's not a lot of blue left in them. Oh, we need something blue, not something purple. Okay, so the gold pile won't work. What are we... Are these blue? Something blue. That doesn't need any berries. Okay. Have we seen anything blue? I mean, there's the... There's the police tent. Oh, there's the portaloo. I mean, the the liquid in there is normally blue, right? I mean, that'd be disgusting if that's if that's the thing. That doesn't need any berries. No. Okay. Fine. Uh, can we actually use that? Have we tried it? I don't need to go. No. Uh, okay. Something blue. I'm glad it wasn't the portaloo. <laughs> that would just be gross. Uh, the candy floss is pink. Is there anything blue in here? Bandable. I don't think it's going to be that. Something blue. I mean, there's the there's the blue rope. I think in here, isn't there? I'm sure one of these was. Yeah, it's a blue rope. So I mean, we could maybe use that on there. That doesn't need any berries. Doesn't need any berries. All right. Um. There's nothing blue there. Is there anything blue in Fig Hall? Mm, doesn't look like it. I mean, there's... Oh, there's the vase. I mean, can we maybe use it in the vase at home? That doesn't need any berries. Doesn't need any berries. Apparently nothing needs berries. Uh, right, let's see if we can... That doesn't need any berries. No, it doesn't need any berries. Uh, anything blue in the house? I think there was anything in here when we just looked. Doesn't look like it. Anything blue in here? Look, blue paint or something, maybe? There is a blue paint. Okay, maybe we can use that. It's all dried up. Oh, it's dried up. Okay. 
Can we take it? I don't need any paint. Okay, we don't need any paint. So, maybe we can get some water in the glass. And then we can... Okay, I've just noticed that's blue as well, isn't it? That stuff. But again, that's going to be gross, so I'm hoping it's not that. Uh, right, let's see if we can add this water to the blue paint. This makes sense anyway. Add, add the, the water to the blue paint to make it um, blue again. That doesn't need a glass of water. Oh, okay. It's all dried up. It doesn't need water, apparently. Which leaves us, again, with the manky toilet. Into these berries. Tom, that is absolutely disgusting. Lovely. You're all plump, blue and pine scented. That is nasty. Okay, well, I guess we're not going to be eating the jam. In you so. go. Right, there we go. Oh, Jesus, that is nasty. Fine. Now I'm guessing we do the, co the gold pole for the sweetness. I need to find something to preserve them first. Okay, we'll preserve them with the formaldehyde, which we discovered last time, didn't we? We should pet those berries up a bit. Okay. So, p preserved berries. Hello. <laughs> Talk to the preserved berries. <laughs> Gold pole now to make it sweet. This should make it taste a bit sweeter. Okay. I'm happy with my effort. I okay. wonder if it would stand a chance in the Village Fates jam competition. I certainly hope so. Jar of jam. All right. Let's head back to the fate. So, that was nasty because we had to put it in the, the nasty toilet water. Gross. Do you mind if I enter my special jam into the competition? Of course. The more the merrier. You wouldn't be Thank saying you. that. The name's Luce, uh, Lloyd. Nice to meet you, Luce Lloyd. Luce Lloyd. <laughs> okay. Well, we've made jam. My heavens. How utterly divine. He likes toilet water. Lowest blueberries. A hint of fresh pine. <laughs> Oh. Well I see. The gold pole cured his headache as well. <laughs> That's quite good. Uh oh. Not sure that was fit for human consumption, I think we'll honestly. For that -loo outside. <laughs> the blue eyes, the grey hair. It's almost like Paula Holyrood is, is like somebody else who is involved in some sort of baking related competition. <laughs> oh no, jammy mess. That is nasty. It is. I mean, I wasn't a million miles away with the port idea, was I, when you think about it? Which is horrible. Really horrible. Okay. Hello. Ah, another fan. Uh, I'm not a fan. I almost killed the vicar and I'm after a copy of your new book. Yeah, I never miss an episode of Great British Cake Off. Yeah. I never miss an episode of Great British Cake Off. Of course you don't, darling. Uh, okay. Did you see what happened to the vicar? Did you see what happened to the vicar? He was covered in purple gunge. And locking himself in the portal when I arrived. <laughs> Did I miss something? Actually, it's probably best that you don't know. Yeah, probably best. Uh, so who, who are you exactly? So, who are you exactly? Don't pretend you don't know. I am the Queen of Bath, <laughs> the Baroness of Brioche, the Dame of Damp Noodle. I make bread on the television lamp. <laughs> Can I have a copy of your book? Can I have a copy of your book? Oh no, sweetie. This copy is reserved for the winner of the jam competition. I am the winner. I won the jam competition. I won the jam competition. You'll have to prove it if you want a copy of my book. Signed copies are very desirable. It's, it's here. It's, it's right Bye. here. Can we... I won first prize for my highly emetic preserve. Okay, do we just take it? Yay, I won. I do hope yeah. the vicar's okay. I'm sure he'll be fine. I'm sure, I'm sure he'll be absolutely fine. Look, I won the jam competition. Well, aren't you a clever girl? Does your mother bake? Does pouring napalm down rabbit holes count? <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry. Nothing, I'm uh, self-taught. Well, it sounds like your jam absolutely killed them out there today. Hopefully honey. not. Here's your prize. I hope it inspires you to keep on baking. That's probably not a brilliant idea, <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> it's probably not. <laughs> All right, I mean, can we take our jam? No, I don't think we can. Let's look at this book then. Bread is best. 
Inspire the Baker in You by Paula Hollyrood. Nice. Can we use the book? Uh, maybe? So what, what did it say in here again? Chapter 2. Breaking Bread. Sharing food with friends and enemies alike can help to bring you inner peace while you sleep. Both figuratively and literally, food can inspire companionship and reconciliation. I guess I need to find an inspiring book about food. Yeah, and we've we've got that, right? So do we do we just put it into the the thing, the box or something? Good idea, but I need to find a suitable place for the box first. Okay, yeah, we can do that. So it looks like we might be about to progress the dream again, which would be pretty cool. Let's go back inside. Up the stairs, back to Lucy's room. So do we want to put the... So I guess if we're doing the dream box, then we need to put... It feels nice when I get it. Yeah, yeah, it feels nice when you get out of bed. Um, I guess if we're going to do that, we need to put all like the bear and everything back into it. Um, I don't know if we put the joke book in this time or if we use the there baking book. Okay, so that's that's ticked off a task. We need to get the visitor pass, but we don't we don't have that yet. But I'm guessing maybe that will come from the dream. Should we try going to sleep then? Let's give it a go. Oh! It looks like that baking book has delivered on inspiration. But is there anything here that can help me with that monster in my nightmare? I don't know, but we will find out. We have got the um the pinch me picture with us, but everything else is gone, and there's giant baking related things here which is great so this is where we'll leave it for this one guys so as always thank you very much for watching a big thank you to my patrons arcades games wayne nate terminally nerdy paul for the phantom fellows lyle barry aldridge hobo and numinous and i'll see you next time